at 930 tonight, Oklahoma City Star Wars fans turn their passion into philanthropy. Members of Jedi OKC draw attention to charities. Yeah, they do what they do best, dress up in their favorite costumes. Fox 25's Dita Payton takes us behind the lightsaber and shows us the men and women using the force for good. Actually, it's happening right here in Oklahoma City. Yay, he's coming! It's more than a fan club. They're like the heroes. I mean, it's like, this is a big deal. Gen I OKC brings the iconic characters from the silver screen <laughs> to charity events in the metro. They got my attention. When they're not fighting for control of the galaxy, they're raising eyebrows. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> and awareness for causes close to their heart. We're here supporting the Hugs Foundation. The Hugs Foundation is collecting items for the troops overseas. Very worthwhile cause. It's not easy to walk past Lando at Walmart without having a few questions. We draw attention, number one and that uh, creates interest. I'm more likely to respond to that than someone just sitting behind a table. Even Billy D. Williams does a double take when Jimmy Morgan is around. He looked up at me and he said, you just freaked me out. That instant recognition has been helping Jedi OKC help others for the past 10 years. We enjoy the kids. We enjoy doing things with children. That's our main focus, our charities for kids. The philanthropic aspect is what Kara Peters says led her to join the group in the first place. They were telling me about all of the charity they do, specifically MDA. And my best friend died from complications of MDA. And I thought that was really awesome. Week after week, Jedi members volunteer their time and energy to support younglings in need. They are the most genuine group of people. Integris Mental Health Center in Spencer is a children's hospital that welcomes the Jedis and whoever else they choose to dress up as with open arms. We're just so appreciative and so grateful that they um, want to do this for us and put a smile on our kids' faces every year. While our cameras weren't allowed to show the kids' faces, their squeals of excitement cannot be mistaken. <laughs> so cool! Five. Yeah. It's funny because they get really nervous. Um, a lot of them are like kind of scared just because it's something unknown. But by the end of it, they're just so pumped up. Uh, they get a picture with them and they feel like they've just met the biggest celebrity ever. Who do you want to picture with? Darth Vader. Darth Vader looks awesome. Because he's invincible. Who do you want your picture with? Ghostbusters. Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, everyone wants a picture with a dark lord of the Sith. Next year, we're all coming Even I asked for a photo. It's all dark and handsome. The novelty of the costumes is hard to ignore, but the passion behind the characters is what hospital workers say is inspiring. They are passionate about something, and they use it for the betterment of our society. So. I don't know how you can knock that. Not even photojournalist Ben Latham could resist a chance to suit up with the Ghostbusters and share a fist bump with the kids. The organization says everybody's got a little Jedi in them. I even have an app for it. And if you don't have an elaborate costume, these guys say they'll help you build one. Most of our costumes are screen accurate, meaning that they're exactly the same as they would be if they appeared on the movie screen. Their motto is anything worth doing is worth doing right. The Proton Pack takes about it takes about 80 hours to build one from scratch. Thank you! So whether it's their causes, Is that your life, or their costumes, with the Jedis, there's no turning to the dark side. Dita Payton, Fox 25 News. That is too much fun there. To learn more about the charities that JDA OKC supports or how you can join that organization, visit our website, okcfox.com links.